So what are some ways that someone can become a broadcast manager? Like, you know, Good question. Do you think it always comes from being a mod and working your way up and establishing yourself in that community? Like, could you create a resume and just like put yourself out there on social media and be like, hey, like, this is what I can do and I'm available for hire? Like, how, how does this role foster? I think there are a number of different ways that it can happen. Um, uh, I've seen it happen, you know, the same way that it happened for me, just being a member of the community and kind of evolving from there. And I, I've seen broadcasters specifically search out people that have experience in not necessarily broadcast management, management, but you know, similar fields. Um, so it's unfortunately when it goes down that route it's like a lot of work stuff is you, you can't get the job if you don't have experience and if you don't have, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you, you can't get that to of it. Um, so that, I think that direction is going to be a lot more difficult than just say like <clears throat> ingraining yourself in the community and growing and evolving. Um, plus doing it that way gives you the benefit of learning how the, the community function and, functions and the broadcast functions mm -hmm. that's going to be a huge part of your job but you know there's no reason why you can't just put a resume out there you know if you've been a moderator for co for three years and decide you want to you know move on to a, a different type of role within the community well seeing that you have that experience is definitely going to make a broadcaster feel a bit better about bringing you on board Absolutely. than you know, having no experience at all. So it's, I would say just play to your strengths, how you function and, and how you're comfortable with advertising yourself. Play to that, use that. That's really interesting. So, yeah. So I, I think to that very point in, in a lot of time, in a lot of cases where we've seen at least community manager, uh, somebody, somebody sort of elevate to community manager. It's always, almost always been from within. It's been somebody who was a member of the community who then becomes a mod. That's how mods normally work. Mods who then somebody who's super dedicated to the stream and is, you know, pumping out ideas and seems to be handling things on their own without needing to be poked and prodded in some circumstances, then maybe gets elevated up there. Like they're, they're just inherently showing their value to the, to the stream. And then, you know, from there, sometimes up uh, even one step above to, the broadcast manager, that's that organic kind of growth. I expect, though then again, back to the beginning of the stream, three years down the road, I expected something very different in the industry as a whole when it came to management. But I expect at some point uh, in the near-ish future, we would start to see people who are going to manage more broadcasters uh, collectively, like one manager who manages multiple broadcasts, but also exactly this situation where you know, we have a, a bunch of mods and they're, they're all very skilled and talented people, uh, but we have one manager and you're not going anywhere. You're not going to get replaced. That's an impossibility. So they might have a really good fit for management, but it just can't be here. They can shop that out somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. They can easily put that, like what you said, is like, you, I was, a, I was, a, I've been a mod for co for three years, like a mod four times a week for, you know, six hours at a time. Our co streams in shorter batches, but you know, for a chunk of time and, and here's the reference and here are the other people on the mod team. Talk to them exactly yeah. how you shop at any job. And you, you used a key word there, which is reference, mm -hmm. you know, broadcasters can and should be used as references because you know, it, it's a job. Like when it comes right down to it, it's a job and the broadcaster in a way, even if, <clears throat> even if they're not paying you is your employer if you're a, a moderator or a manager uh, or whatever it happens to be. I've written a be. letter of recommendation actually for one of my mods before. Really? So, yeah. yeah. It's that's awesome. Yeah. It's <laughs> um, like I, I use hunt. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually told him, but I use Hunter as a reference whenever I need to put a reference down on something. Oh, I get calls all the time. Because don't make me paranoid. Because <laughs> I, I literally put you down as a reference on something last night. Um, so it's, utilizing what's available to you if you have that experience and a big part of it as well is being able to advertise your drive if you Absolutely. don't have 
a, a drive and a passion for this industry, then, well, I mean, what are you doing? Why, <laughs> yeah, why, are, you, yes. why are you here? And, you know, not at corporate Joe incorporated or, or whatever. That's where I, that's where I was going to work if I didn't become a streamer. And me too. Um, it, it's, you, you have to have that drive and that passion and you need to be able to show that because that's encouragement for people that are looking to hire you. And it's encouragement for yourself because you're moving forward <clears throat> in an industry that you love. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, excuse me. I'm just getting over a cold. Um, and, and being able to show that to people is just as important as being able to show your experience. I think to that same point and to the earlier one, these, these things uh, sort of synthesized it, it resourcefulness. If you're going to be reaching out to a broadcaster and suggesting that you would make a good manager, your resourcefulness is immediately going to be a selling point. If you have these other things that you can point to, to really shop yourself out, boom, that I, like if I if somebody approached me with that, I'd be like, oh well, you know, you you really sold yourself incredibly well. I bet you could do that same kind of thing for this stream when it comes to shopping around for sponsors and stuff. Like you 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 had that go get it attitude, or the go get them attitude. Um, you you showcase how you could pull together these uh, these different points of reference to make to make a real big selling point for yourself as the manager. That's already good. Like it's, regardless of what the skills themselves are that, that you might list on this kind of resume, like what you can do, you're already showcasing what you can do when you're reaching out and what you're bringing day one, that the first, the first time that you're, that you're approaching somebody. Really yeah. And, and that kind of comes full circle back to communication. Communication <laughs> is a huge part of it. That's going to be, that's going to be the mantra for the day is communication. Yep. <laughs> 